Welcome to Who TV. I'm Christopher Christian. And I'm Chastity Burns, and here are your news and announcements you need for today. New National Beta Club invitees have received email from Ms. Vaughn with directions to pay your fee and join. Payment is due by February 27th. Please stop by room 214 if you have any questions. DECA has gone to the dogs and the cats this year. Our DECA marketing students are starting a food and supplies drive for our furry friends. Here's how you can help save lives even if they have knives lives. Our DECA program is doing a food drive, not for people, but for our furry friends. DECA members are gathering food through February, so make sure to come by room 404 to drop off your donations. The animals really do need it, like it's getting cold outside, so they need blankets, they need dog food, cat food, because they're going to be collecting more animals since it's cold outside. Places like McKamey keep and nourish animals that are strays and that have been dropped off without a home. DECA members are hoping students of Udawa will step up and be a part of something so big and helpful towards these animals. Reporting for Udawa Hoot TV. Well, the culinary team are getting ready for their big competition next month. Dallas dropped in and checked on how practice is going. Take a look. Coming in third place in last year's culinary competition, OHS is back to compete in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, where they'll be facing off with many other culinary teams around the state. When I cook, it's the time. <laughs> as one of their dishes, they will kick up a seared scallops with lemon parmesan sauce, as well as a chocolate bowl with an avocado chocolate mousse. There's a lot of effort. They have to put the recipes together and cost them out. and um, So it's a commitment. So you see them at first. They think, yeah, it's just a little silly competition. I'll be on TV. But then they realize how much work and time and effort goes into it. Um, and we've changed our recipe about six times already. Uh, just when, when we practice it, we realize it needs adjustments. The competition will take place in a few weeks, Sunday, February 27th. Our culinary teachers, Chef Kay and Chef Richards, have done an amazing job at teaching and raising the chefs to be the best they can be. Um, so it does. It energizes them. They learn a lot. They learn the process and they learn to make changes to get it just the way they want it. And here's some personal thoughts from a new member on the culinary team. So you, I know you have a competition coming up. Do you think that the competition will be hard for you? Um, we've been putting a lot of practice in, so I feel like once it rolls around, the time will be set. Um, do you think that you will enjoy this competition? Yeah, I'm super excited. I'm a really competitive person, so I think it's going to be awesome. This is Dallas Rogers reporting for Hoot News. Hoot Club leadership received a $500 grant from Tennessee Foundation for Agriculture in the classroom, which will be followed by a subsequent $500 grant from the Hamilton County Farm Bureau. Additionally, the Hamilton County Farm Bureau is also partnering with us to expand our gardening area into a full outdoor classroom area. We've had lots of exciting discussions with them about just how far this can all be developed for our school. Only seniors. For senior superlatives, the link is on the OHS website and voting will close on Wednesday, February 16th. This week for Black History Month, we've asked students about their opinion on black history. Here's what they had to say. It is relevant and it's relevant because I feel like there are people still doing things for us today and it's really important and it really making a big change for this world is that it was a time for change for the African Americans to stand up and fight for their rights. Do you think we should still celebrate it and why? I would say yes, because even though we're still not in those times right now, we still got a lot to go through, you feel me? Like, we still got to, like, struggle, like, help the moms out, like, what we got to go through. Still people, like, still criticize us. It's like, we still got to keep fighting, though. Like, even though that's, like, back then, we still got to come together and fight as a unit, as people. Black History Month is the celebration of African Americans and the things they've achieved and overcome over time. I still think we should celebrate Black History Month because uh, they deserve to have a month for celebration for all the things that they've done and overcame in their past. Like, my people, like, the African Americans, they, I mean, we went through a lot, and... We, we still have to progress through like times now, but we just need to celebrate what, we, what we've done. 
There will be a food truck this Friday. Here's the menu and price. It's seven dollars. The barbecue spud, the veggie spud, and the Frito pie. I had the food last week. It was pretty good. How was it for you? Man, it was pretty good. It's kind of, it's kind of amazing how good um, how good our culinary is, really. So. Thank you for joining us this week, and I hope you have a great week. See you guys next week right here at Who TV.